Hey guys, Adventure Man here. I thought I'd share with you uh, something that I wanted to correct from the films Jurassic Park and the whole series Jurassic World. Uh, okay, so my my favorite dinosaur is the raptor, specific, specifically the Utah raptor. Now in the films Jurassic Park and the whole series with Jurassic World, they call, you know, they, they have the dinosaur called Velociraptor in there. That is not a Velociraptor. As much as I love that dinosaur, that is not a Velociraptor. That is a Utah Raptor. Velociraptors are actually about three feet high, about knee height, and uh, basically the size of a large turkey. Yes, it could still screw you up. <laughs> it could still, especially since they are pack hunters, it would still probably take you down real fast if they, uh, if they were still around. However, the claw, that the, the killing claw, the killing sickle claw that they show in the movie, it doesn't belong to a Velociraptor. Now, I have here a replica. I have two different replicas. One is the uh, the replicas are of actual fossils. Um, but, because, well, Utah Raptor fossils are not available because they're too rare. And Velociraptor fossils are just too expensive. Um, so I got the next best, next best thing, which is a replica of the fossils. Now, uh, I have the Velociraptor sickle claw, which the tip, the, the, bit, the, the very tip of it broke off because I dropped it as I was messing around with it, checking it out and stuff. So it, it, it would be just a tiny bit longer, but okay. And I'm going to put up a picture of what the claw in the Jurassic Park movies and stuff looks like. So I'm going to put that up now. Now, let me show you what an actual Velociraptor killing claw looks like, the size of it. It's that big. <laughs> yes, a pack of them would most likely kill you, and it wouldn't be fun. But the Utah Raptor, which is actually the size of the so-called Velociraptor in the movie, which is about five to six feet tall, uh, the, the size of the claw they showed in the movie, that's basically about the size of the Utah Raptor claw. Now this, this is the Utah Raptor killing claw. So compare this against my chest. Velociraptor versus Utah Raptor. Major difference. This one will probably kill you. This one will most definitely kill you. And it could only, you could just have one of these and you're still screwed. So I kind of wanted to correct that, that the Utah Raptors and uh, other Raptors such as Deinonychus, they were the, the large Raptors. Velociraptors, no. Although they call it Velociraptors in the movie and that's movie canon. And even in the, in the Jurassic World game and stuff, that they still show them uh, as that size. And they, but, but they do different, they, they do say in there that this is movie canon for the, for the size. But Velociraptors were actually pretty small, and contrary to what they show in the movie, although I will say they look so much better in the movie, Velociraptors and even Utah Raptors and even the T-Rex had feathers. So not as fearsome as you might think, but it will still kill you. Just, just as easily. <laughs> so I kind of want to share that and, and uh, clear up a misconception, because uh, Velociraptors are not what they show in Jurassic Park. Actually, the way they show a lot of those dinosaurs aren't exactly what they look like, but, uh, you know, dinosaurs are a passion of mine. I've, I've loved dinosaurs I don't know how long, since I was a little kid. And uh, I, I go and see every Jurassic World movie as it comes out. But, you know, they have some things that are not technically accurate. But I thought you guys might enjoy that. I mean, th this is quite the difference here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll be having some, some more movie, some more movies, <laughs> some more videos come out soon. Uh, God bless, be safe until the next adventure.